Hello everybody, it's Ben Dominator and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be going over all the brand new leaked skins in the 19.01 update. But of course before we get into the video, if you guys enjoyed the content be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supporter creator code Ben Dominator in the item shop hashtag ad when buying any of these brand new cosmetics once they hit the item shop. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so the first skin I want to talk about here is the Azuki skin. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but this is a really cool Egypt-style skin that we've seen in the surveys from a while back. It's really cool to finally see in the game. This is a skin that I was definitely excited to see once it came to the game. I, for some reason, thought this was definitely going to be a Battle Pass skin, but no, it's actually going to be an item shop skin. It just kind of gives me Battle Pass vibes for some reason. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a very interesting skin. I think it definitely fits the brand new chapter. This probably isn't a skin that I'm actually going to pick up in the item shop, but I am excited to see it release. Next up here, we have the Blizzabelle skin, which is a reskin of the Isabel skin. And I think the skin looks really cool. I think the main missed opportunity with the Isabel skins is that they don't include the built-in emo with the second edit style. I mean, I know the first edit style is more popular, but that second style on the original Isabel skin just looks so clean to me. And it's so unfortunate that whenever they reskin this character, they don't give her that extra edit style with the built-in emote. Just something that I always find as a disappointment when it comes to these reskins. But overall, I really don't have a problem with them reskinning this character. Of course, I'd like to see more original skins in the game, but when you have a skin that looks this good, you can't really complain too much. And on top of that, this skin is actually going to be free in the Epic Games Store for a short while. According to Fire Monkey, this skin will release for free on the Epic Games Store on December 16th and will go away on January 6th. And it will come back to the item shop later, so if you didn't get a chance to claim it for free, you can still buy it. Or if you don't have a PC and you weren't able to do it that way, you can buy the skin when it comes to the item shop. But if you want to get the skin for free, you can actually get it through the Epic Games Store from the 16th of December to the 6th of January. So yeah, definitely going to be picking up the skin because it's free and why not? It looks really nice. I love the blue and white color scheme. I just love Christmas skins. I love the Christmas sweater design. The socks are cool. But this actually isn't the only new Isabel skin. In fact, this isn't even the only new Isabel skin in this update that you can receive for free because as part of the new Winterfest rewards for this year's Winterfest, you're going to be able to unlock this other Christmas Isabel skin for completely free. And that's just crazy. Two different versions. I kind of wish they were the same skin. I mean, they're giving both away for free anyway. Why couldn't one just be an edit style? I'm not really sure. It is really weird how they're doing it because at first I assumed that they were selling them separately so that they could profit off the item shop version, but if they're both free, I don't really see the point. But either way, I guess they are both free, so most people will end up owning both anyway. Overall, I do prefer this Winter Vest version of this Isabel reskin much better. The sock design is a lot more interesting to me. I just overall like the color scheme more. Again, I don't understand why you can't have the built-in emote with the second edit style. But nonetheless, it's still a really nice skin, and it's kind of crazy to me that they're giving two Isabel reskins away for free. I'm definitely excited to receive both of these skins once they are available. And you might think I'm crazy, but those aren't all the free skins either, because there's still one more free skin you could obtain from Winterfest, and that's the Frozen Peely skin. This skin isn't nearly as exciting to me as the other ones are, but I still think it actually looks pretty nice. The texturing on it looks really cool. It's definitely one of the more interesting Peely skins in my opinion, and I am excited to own it as well. And in the same vein as the Frozen Peely skin, we got a brand new Ice Legends pack as well. This pack includes three Ice versions of existing skins, starting off with the Ice Crystal skin. Yep, pretty much just crystal with an ice texture over it. Nothing too crazy. Then moving on to the Ice Midas skin. This skin is also pretty much Midas with a ice thing over it, but he does look pretty cool, I'll give him that. I'll be interested to see if he actually has like an ice touch where if you grab weapons, it'll be covered in ice. I think that would be pretty cool. Not really sure if that's a thing, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And then finally, we got the Permafrost Renegade Raider, which is another Renegade Raider race skin. And yeah, compared to the Renegade Raider we got last year, which is the Gingerbread Raider, this one seems pretty disappointing in comparison. I don't know, this pack just feels really, really lazy to me. I mean, there's been lazy reskin packs in the past. I mean, every single year for Christmas, we get a brand new Frozen Legends type pack, but this one out of all of them just does not seem very interesting to me. I think this pack plays it a little bit too safe, especially with the skin selection. Like, how many times have we seen Crystal, Renegade, Raider, Midas all in a pack like this? It's just, I feel like choosing some more interesting skins to include this pack would have gone a long way. 
but yeah, overall these skins look good for what they are. I mean, they're not bad looking skins. It's just we've seen these character models reskinned over and over again, and to include them in a pack like this, it just seems really, really boring. But I do know that these packs definitely have their audience. In fact, I was someone who really enjoyed the original Frost Legends pack when it came out, and that was pretty much the same exact thing as this. I just feel like that pack had a bit more variety when it came to the skin selection. But yeah, moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the Cozy Knit Jonesy skin. Now this is such a nice, cozy, classic feeling Christmas skin, and I absolutely just love this skin. I will say, I kind of wish that they chose a different character model than Jonesy, but I still think that this is a very, very nice nice, just classic feeling Christmas sweater design style skin. You know the deal, we've seen these skins every year, but I just love them. They're so simple, they're so nice, they're so cozy. They just encapsulate everything I love about Christmas in a single skin. I will say, he should have a Christmas hat. Like, if he just had a blue Christmas hat on, I think it would make the skin a billion times better. But even as he is now, I think it's still a really nice Christmas skin to wear during the holidays. So I'm definitely excited for this one to release, especially because it's an uncommon, so it's not too expensive either. I think the skin will definitely be worth the price. Now next up, we have the Dawn skin. Now, at first when I saw this skin, I wasn't really a huge fan of it. I feel like the color scheme is a bit just too bright for me. It's a bit too chaotic. Don't get me wrong, I like me some bright color schemes, but this one just feels a bit busy to me. Until I saw the second edit style. This skin has an Eclipse edit style, which I think looks phenomenal. Now, I'm still not a huge fan of the design of the skin overall, but I do think that this color scheme makes the skin look so much better. It changes the skin to have like a black, blue, and purple color scheme with that light hint of pink as well in there. And you even got this cool galaxy design for the leggings, which looks really cool as well. The shoes are really nice. I like the reflectiveness of the outfit. I don't think it's going to be a skin that I actually pick up, but this color scheme definitely elevates the skin to be much better in my opinion. Again, still not a huge fan of the actual design of the outfit, but the color scheme is definitely really, really cool. Next up after that, we got the Glum Bunny skin. Now this skin has only 800 V-Bucks. This is an uncommon rarity skin, and that's kind of crazy to me. There's so much design packed into the skin. And and I actually might end up buying it just because it's so cheap, and it's honestly not a bad skin. I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm not like crazy about the skin, but I do think it's definitely going to be worth the price. I think this is definitely a steal. When it comes to my actual opinion on it, I'm excited to see what combos work with this skin. I feel like this is a really cool skin to do combos with, the color scheme is definitely very interesting. The outfit itself is kind of cool, I kind of like the ripped up style when it comes to the outfit. But overall, it's not something that I'm extremely into. But again, I might honestly just buy this because it's so cheap and it's such a good deal. And with that really cool color scheme, I can definitely see myself making some pretty cool combos with this skin. Next up after that is the Mel skin. This skin is pretty interesting. I do like the kind of blue and black color scheme with the hints of pink. We've seen that a lot in this update, but I think it still works. And overall, this skin's alright. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I don't hate it either. It definitely works for an uncommon skin, but it's not something that's very impressive to me or very notable, so probably not going to end up picking this one up in the item shop when it comes out. I don't really have much to say on it either. It's nice, it's clean, but probably not something I would ever buy or use. And last but not least, we have the Arena skin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I love the design of the outfit on the skin, but the cell shading kind of kills it for me. I understand when they do the cell shading on collab skins like Naruto, because without it, the characters wouldn't really work, but with this, it's like, I don't know, it's an original skin, so I kind of wish it just didn't have the cell shading. I understand they're trying to make it like an anime skin, but I just really prefer the non-cell shaded skins over the cell shaded ones. It just makes it so difficult to make combos with the skins with cell shading, and they just don't look as good in game to me. The outfit though does look really cool. Again, I like the colors, I like the outfit. I would buy this if it didn't have the cell shading. Also, only a rare for the skin is definitely a steal as well. It's really cool to see that these prices are pretty cheap for the majority of these skins. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a skin that's worth your money if you're into the cell shaded skins, if you're into this kind of design. But yeah, unfortunately for me, the cell shading just kind of puts me off of this skin. I do really like the design. I think it's a really well designed skin. But yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm going to end up passing on this one. But anyway guys, that's going to be about it for this video. What do you guys think about all the unreleased skins that I talked about in today's video? Be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you're new because I make videos like this all the time. You can also use my supporter creator code BENDOMINATOR in the item shop hashtag add when picking up any of these brand new Christmas cosmetics when they release in the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.